Hi, welcome to John again. Thanks for clicking to watch this video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for more informative and educative Africa content. In this video, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two most popular countries in Africa. I am talking about Nigeria and Ethiopia. Ethiopia is located in the Horn of Africa. It is bordered by Eritrea to the north, Djibouti and Somalia to the east, Sudan and South Sudan to the west, and Kenya to the south. Nigeria is a West African country and shares border with the Republic of Benin in the west, Chad and Cameroon in the east, and Niger in the north. The population of Ethiopia is approximately 108 million people, while the Nigeria population is almost double of that of Ethiopia, with about 200 million people living in Nigeria. About 105 million more people live in Nigeria than Ethiopia. Ethiopia and Nigeria are two of the largest countries in Africa in terms of landmass. They occupy position 10 and 14 respectively, but Ethiopia is larger than Nigeria. The life expectancy of Ethiopians is generally much better than that of Nigerians. In Nigeria, the average life expectancy is 60 years, 59 years for men, 62 years for women as of 2020. In Ethiopia, that number is 68 years. So that is 66 years for men and 70 years for women as of 2020. Nigeria cuisine consists of dishes or food items from hundreds of ethnic groups that comprise Nigeria. Like other West African cuisines, it uses spices, meat, maize, vegetables and herbs with palm oil or granite oil to create deeply flavored sauces and soups. Nigeria's feasts are colorful and lavish. You'll be doing yourself a disservice to not try dishes such as jollof rice and egusi soup in Nigeria. The former's basic ingredients are rice, tomatoes, onion, and pepper. The latter's basic ingredients are melon seed, palm oil, vegetable, dry fish, and stewed meat. Egusi soup is best enjoyed with pounded yam and gari, a popular West African food made from cassava tubers. Visitors to Ethiopia often rave about the country, citing the music, injera, coffee, and ancient structure as one of the highlights. The new craze of adding butter and salt to coffee started in Ethiopia. More adventurous food lovers may be familiar with kolo. Kolo is a roasted grain mix of barley, chicken pears, sunflower seed, and the occasional peanut. A true experience of Ethiopian food will be incomplete without tej, onion wine, coffee, or teller, Ethiopian home brewed beer. Ethiopia definitely has much to offer to international tourists. From Blue Nile Fall to world class archaeological sites and friendly and welcoming people, Ethiopia is a country many fall in love with. Nigeria is a pulsating powerhouse and a giant of Africa in every regard. However, Nigeria tourism industry is not as popular as that of Ethiopia among worldwide travelers. One of the major tourist destinations in Nigeria is Lagos. Lagos is a resurgent city with tech industry, posh restaurants, and clubs and an exploding art scene. Lagos is a mega city and is classified by some as the face of modern Africa. Other notable destinations in Nigeria are Yankari Game Reserve and Lekki Conservation Centre. The national census figures in Ethiopia show that over 32 million people, about 43%, were reported to be Ethiopian Orthodox Christian. Over 25 million people, about 33%, were reported to be Muslim. 13.7 million about 18% were protestant and just under 2 million or maybe about 2% are there to traditional beliefs. A survey by the Pew Research Center Forum on Religion and Public Life estimated that the population of Nigeria to be about 49% Christian and about 48% Muslim. Why do the many 2% belong to other or no religion? There are some Nigerians who combine indigenous beliefs and practice with Islam and Christianity. Amharic is one of Ethiopian principal languages. The Ethiopian languages are divided into four major language groups, which are Semitic, Cushitic, Omotic, and Nairo Siren. With over 250 ethnic groups in Nigeria, it is not surprising that Nigeria has more languages distributed 
geographically than we can actually mention. The official language in Nigeria is English, but it is spoken less frequently in rural areas. The three major languages in Nigeria are Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. Other major languages spoken include Fufude, Ibibio, Kanuri, and Tib. I should also mention that a lot of Nigeria speak Pigeon English or sometimes called Broken English. Ethiopia is made up of 80 varied ethnic groups. Ethiopia is one of the oldest nations in Africa and was once home to the island, initially comprised mainly of those identifying as Amara, Tigra, and Oromo. The Amara today make up about 27% and Oromo make up about 34% of the population. Nigeria is composed of over 250 ethnic groups and languages. The three biggest ethnic groups in Nigeria are Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo, with about 22%, 18%, and 15% of the population, respectively. The Naira is the currency of Nigeria, while the official currency of Ethiopia is Ethiopian bar. It is worth noting that Ethiopian bar is higher than Nigeria, as one Ethiopian bar is about 9.6 Naira. Nigeria economy is the largest in Africa. Ethiopia, on the other hand, has been gradually grooming their economy. The future looks bright for both countries economically, but as always, it comes down to governance. Based on GDP, Nigeria ranked 27th largest economy in the world, while Ethiopia ranked 63rd in the world. Nigeria is 13th largest producer of oil according to the US Energy Information Administration. Both countries have their specialty and obviously specialty is a factor that determines growth. Nigeria is the resource economy heavily depending on crude oil and also have access to the sea unlike Ethiopia which is a landlocked country. And Nigeria also have a more literate population. Ethiopia on the other side have a lot of advantages as well. The hospitality industry is big with Ethiopia airline which is a national carrier and you know, obviously the tourism and also fourth in the world in terms of headquarters of international and regional organizations. Huge agri-power potential is also really very important for Ethiopia and geographical advantage as well, closeness to Europe. Middle East and Asia for trade. Nigeria was colonized by the British and gained independence on October 1st, 1960. Ethiopia was never really colonized. Ethiopia is unique among African countries. The ancient Ethiopia monarchy maintained its freedom from colonial rule with the exception of a short-lived Italian occupation in 1936. In fact, Ethiopia and Liberia are the only two countries that were untouched in the scramble for Africa. I actually created a video on how Africa was divided by the Europeans. I will recommend you watch that video after this one. Please see the link in the description box or at the end of this video. Ethiopia's major goods export in recent time include coffee, other oily seeds, gold, cut flowers, and zinc oil. The most common destination for the export of Ethiopia are China, United States, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea. The most recent exports of Nigeria are led by crude petroleum, petroleum gas, crab vessels, flexible metal tubing, and cocoa beans. The most common destination for the export of Nigeria are India, Spain, United States, China, France, and Ghana. The top imports of Nigeria are led by refined petroleum, cars, wheat, laboratory, glassware, and packaged medicaments. The most common import partners of Nigeria are China, Netherlands, India, United States, and Belgium. The top imports for Ethiopia are led by planes, helicopters, and spacecraft, gas turbines, packaged medicaments, electric filament, and cars. The most common import partners of Ethiopia are China, India, United Arab Emirates, France, and United Kingdom. In terms of military strength ranking, Nigeria ranks higher than Ethiopia. Ethiopians participate in a lot of sports, but they are most well known for their runners. Ethiopia is popularly known in the athletic world as the running mecca, mainly because they have achieved great success in medium and long distance running. Nigeria has a rich history and sport has significantly added to this tradition. The most popular sports in Nigeria are football, basketball, and boxing. There are 53 airports in Ethiopia. Ethiopia Airlines is Africa's largest airline in terms of passengers carried, destinations served, 
fleet size and revenue ethiopian airline is also the world fourth largest airline by number of countries served nigeria has 31 airport nigeria being Africa's most populous country is an important destination for over 22 foreign carriers. Nigeria do not have a national carrier. Hope you find this video informative and educative. Thanks for watching. God bless.